Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is the first Tuesday of the month, and that means the same thing as every other month. It is Unreal Christmas in July. Yep, you're going to get a bunch of free content for Unreal Engine, and this again is no exception. I forgot that it was Tuesday to be honest, so this is coming a little bit later than normal, but what we're going to do now is jump in and take a look at this month's free content. So if you're interested, there is a bit of an article up on the Unreal Engine blog, a summary of what we are going to look at, but instead we are going to jump in and take a look at each of the assets. If you are interested, in getting your own assets featured, do be sure to check that out. All right, let's look at the first asset. We've got these five assets here, plus one that is permanently free. The way this basically works is you have to, air quotes, buy the assets before the first Tuesday of next month, buy them for zero dollars, but once you own them, they are yours forever. Uh, so today we've got five new things free for the next basically 30 days. Actually, I guess it's 31, isn't it? Uh, for the next 31 days, the first one here is the Meadow Environment Set. This is pretty straightforward. Um, it's a collection of assets you need to make a meadow. Um, yeah, photorealistic. Nice thing about that kind of stuff is you can drop this into any game. It doesn't look completely samey, so it doesn't look asset flippy or whatever. In this pack, oh, it's my favorite word, foliage. All right, we're going to go with foliage. Uh, 31 um, grass and flower types, 8 bushes, 11 trees, 3 trunks, 2 mushrooms. Very random. Okay, uh, 24 cliffs in parts. Uh, 20 rocks from big to small, uh, dirty road with wet ground mix, dirty path with wet ground mix, water, um, swamp material which blends up to two details with water, water material, uh, 6 LP landscapes, 9 ground texture sets, 24 fence system meshes, spans and posts, 13 pre-built fence meshes, and 19 fence construction sets. So you got basically everything you need to create what you are seeing in these here pictures. Uh, pretty straightforward for the most part. The next up pack we've got is the photorealistic landscape pack number 3. Um, yeah, so this one is a highly detailed 64 square kilometers or 8 by 8 kilometer terrain set. Um, this one includes two canyon landscapes, one desert landscape, two Afghan mountain landscapes. Uh, so five different landscapes, 8x8, eight eight, high quality 8K height and splat maps, uh, 42 high quality ground textures, 8 big cliff meshes, 8 rock meshes, 33 plant meshes, 9 ground rock meshes, 1 river mesh, and 3 master materials, and 4 instance materials. So on the whole, you're going to find that probably the actual... Um, the, the height maps here for actually creating the maps, probably not that useful. You're obviously going to create your own maps, but the stuff that you use to populate the map, well, that could definitely be useful. All right, on to the next pap. Uh, pap, 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 next part. Uh, we got the PSD to UMG. UMG is the Unreal uh, User Interface thing. PSD is the Photoshop document, standard Adobe format. Uh, it's a plugin that converts a PSD into an Unreal Engine and converts the PSD into Widget Blueprint. So if you want to create a user interface, you can create the user interface using Photoshop or other PSD compatible document creation tools, which is probably most of them at this point, to be honest. And you can have it uh, convert into Blueprint widgets, including images, buttons, programs, bar, canvas panel, and beta for text. So yeah, you can see here, pretty cool one there. Uh, one I may have to try out at some point in time. This is implemented as a C++ class. It basically extends the functionality of Unreal Engine. So you can import PSD files from Adobe and have them generate UMG UIs. Straightforward enough. And then we've got the Smart ArchViz Interior Pack 01. Uh, this is a 3D asset pack with the purpose of um, using an arc visualization. Uh, there are 156 unique objects with a variety of sofas, carpets, interior lights, electronic devices, books, fruits, vegetables, panels, vases, etc. Sofa and carpets have multiple materials that you can choose based on your project needs. All meshes are optimized in vertices and texture and materials uh, for a variety of use in arch visual arch viz and also in games. Uh, blueprint system to change materials or static mesh in real time using widgets and an actor with three button to have a cool way to present your arch viz projects. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was pretty straightforward too. A select a selection of assets for use in arch visualization for interior scenes um, and the kind of stuff you need to populate uh, your world. So uh, definitely nice if you're doing some interior work. And then we've got the TPS multiplayer pack. TPS, of course, being third person shooter starter pack with features like multiplayer cover system, weapons drops, pickup, paintball projectiles, AI, an amazing kit to begin your journey into the world of Unreal. So yeah, that one's kind of neat. Um, things like, uh, you know, uh, pathfinding, uh, cover shooter, that kind of stuff, seemingly implemented as blueprints. Um, we've got, let's see, do we have a breakdown? 
Uh, we'll go straight to the features. So we've got weapon drop, pickup system, damage system, full locomotion system with run, walk, jump, and crouch, magazine for each weapon with a heads-up display, full controller support, reload system with animation, press R to reload or when weapon runs out of bullets, uh, cover system with cover high and low, aiming for character and AI using its own aiming blend splice, uh, can aim well in cover, two AIs, patrol and cover AI using two different weapons, cover AI can take cover high or low aim and chase players well in cover or out of it, assault rifle and shotgun, uh, weapon inventory system, paintball projectile, and vault jump over cover. Implemented as 16 blueprints, 23 with examples. And then we've got, this one is permanently free, free forever. It was a stylized character kit, casual 01. Uh, modular, stylized, male character, contains hairstyles, accessories, and several different body parts. So you can see all of these things can be created from the character kit variety of different faces. Now this one is going to be obviously of a bit less use for a lot of people. It's kind of neat how it's broken up and how it's used, but the art style, it's going to be tricky to use this in any kind of game of your own, just due to the fact that it has a very specific art style going on. Uh, but it does look like a high quality kit for sure. Uh, let's see, it's got it rigged. Uh, 23,000 to 31,000 vertices, 45 materials, 95 textures, uh, all in 2K or 1K resolution. And this is available forever. So this one you do not have to get by the first Tuesday of next month. And that is it. We are at the end of the list. So that is the free stuff for July. I ask the same question every time I do one of these. All right, first off, are you just hoarding these like I am? I'm never actually using most of these things, but I am definitely hoarding them. It is nice to see uh, new tools coming in here, things like this PSD to UMG format and the third person um, shooter multiplayer pack. Those are definitely nice to see. And of course, adding more and more content to your world, such as interior things used for ArchViz, the things need to make a landscape like this, and this uh, meadow environment set. Those are just basically more things that you can add to your toolbox. But if you're not um, already an Unreal Engine user, are these monthly giveaways starting to tempt you yet? I was actually thinking that if I went through my entire asset of stuff that I got for free from Unreal Engine, could I make a full and complete game using just these assets? And I think I'm kind of getting to the point where the answer is yes. So anyways, let me know what you think of this pack. Once again, you have until the first Tuesday of next month to air quote buy these things. But once they are yours, they are yours forever. So even if you are not currently an Unreal Engine user, you don't actually have to install Unreal Engine. You just have to create an account and go to the, um, the linked marketplace stores. It will be linked in the linked article down below. Add them to your cart, check out, and they are yours forever. Of course, you can also add these using the uh, Epic Launcher if you want to suffer a little bit more for some reason they are available there as well process is pretty much the same the cool thing here is you go up there you can go to the free category on either the website or on the uh, epic games launcher go to the free for the month collection and you will see all of the five new assets we just covered today also let me know what you like the best out of these assets i think I don't know what I'd go with. I would say probably the the least useful is the new permanently free thing. It, it's cool, but it, it's very, very niche in what it's used for. I'd have to check this guy out. This could be kind of cool, but I don't actually use Photoshop in my workflow. So it would probably come down to, uh, I don't know, TPS pack perhaps or some of these just straight out content packs. One of these two or the TPS pack, but let me know which one you thought was the most useful of this pack as well. And that is it. I will talk to you all later. See you uh, next month, first Tuesday, that is for more Unreal Engine giveaways. All right, goodbye.